Hello, I'm Warren Hanchi from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm over here in Singapore working with Energy Wave. Our company does research and development of scalar wave technology in the areas of biology and also agriculture. We are currently focusing on um, uh, biological applications using the energy wave bands and the energy wave holograms to create different effects on the human body. So scalar wave technology is something that was developed by Nikola Tesla back in the early 1900s. Uh, he accidentally found that he was working on electricity in his lab in New York. He was feeling a stinging effect as he tuned his circuits to certain resonances. And no matter what kind of a barrier he got behind, the stinging effect persisted. And pretty soon what he identified was that he found that this was a new type of waveform that had never been discovered before. So we have taken his technology and learned to use that to actually extract information out of different molecules and transmit that information into various substrates like wristbands and holograms. Along about the summer of 2007, we met a professor from Germany by the name of Professor Konstantin Mayo. And Konstantin was acknowledged as an expert in the longitudinal scalar wave area. And he had spent years going back and taking Tesla technology and developing that using modern day equipment into longitudinal waves to prove several different areas of physics that can be done differently than the textbooks claim. I brought him to Southern California to do a presentation to a bunch of doctors and really smart researchers and everybody was totally impressed with the longitudinal wave technology. We got rid of our radionics equipment, we embraced his longitudinal scalar wave equipment. I have spoken at two World Scalar Medicine conferences that he has put on, met a lot of researchers in Europe that are in using his longitudinal scalar wave technology, and we've developed a great friendship and we have new conferences coming up that I certainly hope to be a part of. What we wanted to do is capture biological information and store it. And what we found was that the holograms were very good at doing this. They would, they would accumulate a lot of information in a small space. And then we gradually started investigating other materials like silica. Any kind of crystalline structure will actually hold information, or at least most crystalline structures will and we've expanded it for our purposes, which are programming holograms and wristbands right now. So the reason we picked holograms and silica that the wristbands are actually made, made with is totally about, all about information storage. What we found early on as we were programming the holograms and the wristbands is that if we put the holograms especially on certain parts of the body, we got different results. We then found that traditional Chinese medicine is a perfect way to use the technology. The Chinese developed this over the last 4,000 years. They determined the meridian system in the body and they determined that certain points in the body were going to cause different biological reactions. If you take two different temperatures on either side of a conductive material, it creates an energy field. So all we're doing is taking that energy field and putting it on an acupuncture point, and all of a sudden the information that's in that hologram will instantly transmit straight into that point because the room temperature or the environment is normally different 
than body temperature, which is fairly constant at 98.6 or so. We did major research projects to prove what we were claiming with our products. We literally had a great study that came out of the University of Alabama, which has now won six out of the last 10 national championships. And what we determined in their lab in a double-blind crossover placebo-controlled study was that we could increase muscle endurance and improve recovery time with our holograms. We did another placebo control study at Troy University and they allowed us to use their football team one spring training and with the football team we used 30 placebo bands and 30 active bands. We tested their players for two months and the active band users had substantially higher uh, muscle endurance um, test and lower heart rate and blood pressure. So both of those tests work great. Future of biological signaling is immense. I actually believed, and we're seeing this in the medical side of things right now, that more and more doctors are actually going to alternative medicine. And in our company, we actually deal with a number of medical doctors on the research side and on the sale of our product side and changing the mindset and getting away from drugs and chemicals to deal with symptoms of a problem is going to go away and using the scalar waves and the biological signaling I think is going to become a bigger and bigger part of medicine down the road. So I think we're actually just on the tip of the iceberg as far as the use of this technology in the future.